the last few weeks we we actually got quite a few questions yeah from people that watched from uh, social media uh, social media facebook and youtube a few comments so we thought that it would be a great idea to just have a one of the vlogs uh, answering those questions mm. so people can uh, answer them yeah directly on the video directly on the video why not so here we are so here we are and let me um, find the questions yeah yeah as someone would like to know the thoughts behind finding a brand name yeah like Hideo Jim our thoughts was that uh, first of all we wanted to go international yeah so for us it's important to have a name that can be pronounced and understood in many different mm. languages my opinion is that you need to find something that's uh, short sweet and uh, memorable something yeah. you you can remember Catchy, when we yeah. Say, yeah and we actually also wanted to find a name that didn't mean anything because that's the name we can protect mm, a lot easier a uh, lot easier to, to protect trademark and, to trademark yeah. it yeah did you have funding when you started the business or do you have any maybe advice advice for that uh, for me it didn't didn't start with any funding mm. because it was built like very slowly uh, step by step member by member yeah, yeah. and then uh, earned a little money and then reinvested and then early on mm. no matter if you need money or not yeah. you should get a good customer relationship with your bank yeah. You should early on work with mm. your bank mm. because your bank could be really important. A long term to relationship. Another way is, of course, to find an investor, mm. uh, and that could also be a good way. But uh, you should be really careful on who you when, bring in, who and, you bring in yeah. and when to do it mm. so you don't give away too too much so that's a you know it's a it, it's a, it's a difficult decision sometimes yeah. but in the beginning i would do anything in my power mm. to use as little money as possible mm. and to get a product get your company get your service going yeah. and get proof of concept you can also use vendors yeah. Because you can be a very interesting uh, company for a vendor that wants to sell you things. Mm. So if you actually are good and the vendors see that this is potential for, for a lot of growth over the next years, over the next years yeah. you can actually have them helping you yeah. also funding the business. That's a good one. Okay, uh, what about a market planning, like uh, researching the market? I'm very in favor of uh, as quickly as possible go into a market and try to sell something yeah because then you will get feedback you will see how is this actually working mm. so of course you can do some market research and should you, you you can it can be as easy as driving to that market to that country mm. to that city to that place and uh, do some research yeah talk to people talk to other businesses that are already maybe doing something yeah. similar yeah. or uh, something in your business area for mm. example i'm in the gym business mm. i always go to different gyms and test them out talk to them see what's working for them that's uh, is a lot of information i can get from that you get your hands dirty dirty yeah uh, you, and you're not spending too much time on the computer researching yeah go right into the marketplace go right in the market and then try to establish something as quickly as possible so yeah. you can get real feedback mm. real experience any advice for uh, people who want to start their own business? Uh, that's a big question yeah. and a good question. Uh, there's a lot of advices, but first of all, make sure that the business you want to start is something you have passion for. Mm. It's something you really want. I think for most people, that's where you can get that drive. Yeah. You can get that. You need uh, to put in a lot of work. A lot of uh, work. So, yeah, it's better to have passion. So that's, I would say, the first thing. And the second thing, and those are the two things you should focus on, in, it may be in the start. Mm. And the second thing is that you need to make sure that uh, you know what you are good at. Yeah. Mm. And then you gotta make sure that you involve other people that are good at the areas that you are not good at. Mm. Uh, even though if you if you have money money to hire people or you don't have money mm. to hire people, you can involve people in, in different ways to help you yeah. and make sure that you have people that are doing the things you are not good at. Mm. Uh, otherwise, you will very quickly reach a level where you will not grow through that level. All right. So now. 
you're going international with yes. Hideo Gym. What have you learned so far now that you're going from Norway, the comfort zone? What have you learned so far? That's a very interesting question. We learn a lot of things. Well, the first thing is, of course, like any business venture, it takes longer time than you think. Yeah, yeah. It takes time. Yeah. And of course, we have learned also that we need to put uh, a lot more resources mm. behind our goals yeah. than we thought in the beginning. Or well, we need to hire. Mm. Uh, more people uh, yeah. in the markets we want to go and we get uh, need to do a lot more marketing have a lot more uh, boots on the ground yeah. in in the markets we are working with you know that's pretty common uh, it's very easy before you start to have you know you have a plan yeah uh, and that's important mm. but uh, that plan always changes yeah because when you go into the you market get experience you see yeah. what needs to be done yeah, yeah. And it's always a little different. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it takes a lot of uh, work. It takes a lot of work. Uh, but you yeah, need to have your goals in front of you and just keep pushing. So um, involve people and make sure you hire or find partners or find stakeholders yeah. that are uh, will complement your ability. Vision. And your vision, yeah. yeah. Help you succeed. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you should definitely subscribe to uh, our vlog uh, and put the uh, click the notification bell. Yes, tickle put, that bell. And, yeah, uh, and follow our vlog. Follow, follow our journey going international. Yeah. Leave a comment. Leave a comment. <laughs> <laughs> okay.